your vitamin C serum might actually be dead on arrival, expired, and bad for your skin. Here is the truth about how certain skincare brands are hiding the truth from you and actually selling you bad product. And it has everything to do with the way your vitamin C product actually looks like. Hi, my name is Yurai and I'm the skincare stan. Let's talk the truth about vitamin C. Vitamin C serums are super popular for a very good reason. They can actually work. Uneven skin tone, rough texture, fine lines, acne scars, general dullness. You can name just about any skin problem and there's a good chance that vitamin C can help. Vitamin C is a potent antioxidant that can neutralize free radicals. Because of its antioxidant properties, vitamin C aids in your skin's natural regeneration process, which helps your body repair damaged skin cells. By far the most studied and the most popular form of vitamin C used in skincare is definitely L-ascorbic acid. This is what we know as pure vitamin C, and it's not a vitamin C derivative that haven't been studied as much. Unlike those derivatives, ascorbic acid has the data to prove that it actually works. We love that. But sadly, not everything is as simple as it seems. The problem with ascorbic acid is that it's notoriously unstable and very hard to formulate with. When formulated, your vitamin C becomes a photosensitive product, meaning it is fragile when exposed to light. This is why formulas in a dark bottle have a longer shelf life than those that come in a clear pump. Vitamin C also quickly oxidizes if it's exposed to air, so you always have to be sure to tightly close your bottles and store them in a cool, dark environment. However, you can still do all that and your vitamin C might still be dead on arrival. There is a really easy way to find out if your vitamin C has oxidized and is no longer good to use. You just take a look at it. Fresh vitamin C serums are supposed to be a completely transparent color. If your vitamin C has turned into this yellow or even dark orange color, then you know your vitamin C has oxidized and that it's no longer good to use. The problem with oxidized vitamin C is that not only the fact that you're using a product that won't give you any skin benefits, but it can actually also cause real problems on your skin. There have been severe cases of redness and irritation just from using an oxidized vitamin C. So color is definitely something that you want to pay attention to when using your vitamin C. However, this is where it gets really tricky. Sadly, there are skincare companies out there who are aiming to trick the consumer by adding orange or red dye into their vitamin C products. What does this mean? Well, it means that you can't really tell if your vitamin C has turned bad and you can't really return the product if you open it and you see that it's already oxidized. And the sad reality is many skincare companies actually don't formulate their vitamin C properly so it's notoriously unstable. And also they sell their vitamin C through vendors like pharmacies or drugstores where the product can sit on the shelves for months or even years and oxidize beyond belief in the bottle. By adding that pesky dye, the customer can't detect the bad vitamin C and they think that it's actually good to use. You can tell how this can be extremely problematic. Thankfully, there are skincare companies out there that do it right. Brands who create stable formulas by making sure that they are adding two things into their vitamin C, and that is ferulic acid and vitamin E. Always look for those two ingredients on your vitamin C serum's inky list. They're actually really important because they are making sure that your vitamin C stays fresh longer and that it can actually absorb into your skin properly. A combination of a good formula like that and a no added dye means that you have a vitamin C product that you can actually trust. My favorite product without added dyes and with ferulic acid and vitamin E is the Banish Oil. This is great if you enjoy a light oil texture that just melts away into your skin. 
or if you prefer a more liquidy, water-like consistency, a Sea Glow by Geek & Gorgeous is a closed dupe to the CE Ferulic by Skinceuticals, only it's much, much cheaper. As you can see, you have to be really careful with these hyped ingredients. While there is usually a good reason why they're so popular, there is always nuance to the whole story. There are sadly companies out there who are willing to sell you a bad product just to make a quick buck on the popular ingredient hype train. So what does that mean for you? Do your own research, check your ingredient list for real ascorbic acid, vitamin E, and ferulic acid. Check out product pictures, reviews, and descriptions to see if the product has any added dye that was perhaps omitted from the ingredient list. There are quality brands out there, and vitamin C is an amazing ingredient that can have amazing short and long-term benefits to your skin. You just have to stay educated and always know exactly what you're putting on your skin. Until next time, bye!